What's up guys? We are here coming from Cali. It's Ege Reynolds from the Charming Man here with the man himself. The man who's half asleep right now because he's had too much of a wild time. Mr. Les Thomas. <laughs> I mean, uh, Thomas. <laughs> Today we're going to talk to you about talk to you guys about the importance of not taking things personally as you're working on your dating life. We were just in Cali with a group of a few guys going around, approaching, meeting people, having a cool experience. And one of the biggest things that we found is sometimes there are things outside of your control that happen whenever you want to schedule a date whenever you are talking to a girl maybe you're out at night you're having a good time and one of her friends just drags her away and if you take all of these things personally and make this about you you're going to be feeling very negative very resentful whereas if you're optimistic and you realize there are so many things that you cannot control and keep that mindset you're going to get better results over long term yeah, really. I mean, there's, there's a great book on this called The Four Agreements. And one of his big things in that book is don't take anything personally. Even if someone puts a gun to your head and pulls the trigger, it wasn't, it was because of them. It wasn't because of you. Um, <laughs> I don't know. This is hilarious. Oh, some, is this for us? Yeah. DNA's picante. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, agua con gas. Agua con gas. What? Um, <laughs> We've still got three minutes to complete the clip. Yeah, there's a, there's a great book called The Four Agreements. Uh, and he said, don't take anything personally in that. With this stage of the process, at every stage, um, you shouldn't take it personally. If she blows you out in the, in, the, in the initial open, if she doesn't respond to your text, if she flakes on you know day, if she doesn't come back to your place, whatever, she doesn't want to date, you never take it personally. Mm -hmm. um, super, super important, because otherwise this approaching and dating will wreck you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I totally agree. If you take anything Personally, and if it's too serious that you make this about you, it's just really easy to quit. And I think that's also why it's important to realize like all these things that happen that might feel negative in the moment, in the end, like click. All the experiences that you have where you take the girl out on a date, but she doesn't want to pull through, or you schedule a date who was your dream girl and she doesn't show up. All these experiences eventually combine where at a certain point you realize, okay, well, because I had this reference experience, now I can realize what to do better for next time. And if that's the attitude that you bring, your results will improve drastically over time. Anything else to say? Um, it's very hard to not take it personally at the beginning because the yeah. buffers are off. And, you know, most men go through life never really experience much direct, um, rejection. It, it Maybe maybe in the work field but not in the dating field they'll they'll maybe get with a girl drunk on the dance floor and then end up marrying her <laughs> so when you start actually cold approaching and taking control of that process instead of being the person that, that girls will occasionally choose and actually choosing women you're going to come across a lot of scenarios you can't control you know she's married she a, she's in a bad mood um, you look like her horrible ex-boyfriend there's so many factors that play into this um, and that's why we say good. Keep keep track of your stats. Um, good approach stats. We've always said one in three approaches is a phone number. You get ten numbers, go on two dates, sleep with one girl. So one in thirty. So if you keep that in mind, it will keep you sane as well. Because it's very easy to get negative about it and start yeah. thinking, oh, it's about me. It's about me. It's not about you. It's a numbers game and a skill game. Cool. Again, Tus coming to you from Cali. Signing off. We'll see you guys in Bogota.